Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a rather simple one, really quick and easy for basically anybody to do, but the overall effect is rather nice in my opinion. So the design you see in front of you right now is the one I'm going to be making, and without further delay, let's jump right into the tutorial. We're going to start off by going to File, New, and the dimensions we want are 1200 by 530. So click create, click the plus to create a new layer, delete the backgrounds. Now come over to your rounded rectangle tool, drop that down, and we want this at 29 pixels for the curved edges, and for the rest of the properties, 930 by 240. Sorry, 930 by 240. Now if you don't see the properties window, just go over to window, scroll down to properties, click it, and then it will show up for you. Now let's take this and drag it to the center. Perfect. We're going to do control G. We'll call this the base. Right click on the eyeball. Let's make that orange. We'll call this the base again. Now create a new layer. You can either hold alt and click in between and clip it, just like that, or right click create clipping mask, whichever you prefer. Now we're going to return to a rectangle tool. We'll drag it up about that high. And we'll clip that as well. Now we're going to go right click on it. Go over to blending options. We're going to go over to gradient overlay. This is the one I'm using and I'll pop up the colors right here for you to see. Pause if you have to. And this is the other color. Once again, pause if you need to. Click OK, click OK. Now this is on the bottom. We'll call this the bottom piece. I'm gonna hide that and go back into blending options. And this time we're gonna go over to inner shadow. In inner shadow, we wanna put this at 73, 1, 0, and 10. So click OK there. Now create another new layer and drag in this texture that we have. Drop that down, and we want this texture as an overlay at about 13% opacity. Make sure that is centered, perfect. Now go back to blending options for the base, go to gradient overlay, and we're gonna bring the opacity on this way down to about there. Let's try maybe an overlay and see how that works. Perfect. So click OK there, let's collapse that, collapse that, create a new layer, do Control G, and we'll call this the text. Now for the text, we're going to be using just white for the font color, and I haven't really found a font that itself looks really well, so we're just going to be using Open Sans, but of course feel free to adjust that as you feel necessary. So I'm going to type rules, I'm going to make sure this is white, click OK, click the check mark. Let's move it to about the center. Now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go over to the right side, sorry, the left side. Hold down my left mouse button to pop up more options. Click the rounded rectangle tool and drag one out about that far. You can always adjust it if that is not to your liking. Now right click, blending options, color overlay, gradient overlay. Make sure we're on the correct settings, normal and gradient. Click the check mark. And this one will have it end off right on the left side. Then we'll do control J, bring another one up here and have it end off on the right side up top. Call this one, if I can type, come on. One, and we'll call this two, collapse, collapse. Right click and let's make this yellow. Now for the final step, we're going to create a new layer, do control G, we'll call this the left corner, coronary, that works as well. Let's make this blue, go back to this side, let's make a rectangle, drop the rectangle at about there. Now we're going to do right click, blending options, color overlay, and we're just going to be grabbing this pink from over here. Maybe let's grab the purple instead. And that works as well. Now we're gonna take the Discord logo that we have, drag it in, 
right click blending options color overlay we'll be using 37 37 37 so click OK there click OK there Control T drag this down make sure it's proportional and let's center that right about there and you can make further adjustments as you deem necessary so we'll call this a logo we'll call this the corner base First corner, which will. We'll go over to text. We're gonna grab one of these, Control J, and then we'll drag it in. Make sure this is also blue, just to keep ourselves simple. Underline, and we'll take this by using the Move tool. Drag it over. Line up the left side, Control T, and then. By the way, Control T is called the Free Transform tool. So if the Control T is not working for you, you have to find it yourself. I believe it's under edit, yep, free transform. And then that really marks the end for that tutorial. You can of course play around with the text size. I would honestly move these around a bit. As you can see with my version, I had those a bit higher, the text has a bit larger, but that's the overall gist of how to make it. Now to actually save it, go over to rectangular marquee tool, highlight over the entire thing, edit, copy merged, file, new, create. Control V, delete the background. Then we can either do file, export, save for web. And that'll just compress it down for us. This is what that screen looks like. Or file, save as, and choose PNG for a regular save. Thank you so much for watching. I'm of course gonna include everything in the description for you to download. Please make sure to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Have a great day.